Hi guys, today I'm sharing a super delicious recipe. It's my smothered turkey wings served with Guyana style cook up rice. And yes, this is one of my home raised organic backyard turkey that I'm butchering myself. And I'm gonna save the wings just for this recipe. So I hope you like it. I know it's gonna turn out very delicious. So keep watching folks. So now that I wash my wings in vinegar and lime and scrub it clean, I'm getting ready to start with the recipe. It's Caribbean ducks. I'm glad you can join me. And if you're here for the first time, please consider like, share and subscribe. Let's get started. So now we're getting ready to work with our wings. What we're gonna do is cut it down at the joints and snap it open so we can make it into manageable pieces, just like this. So if you guys know that the dark meat is much more flavorful with the bone in, such as the wings and thighs and legs, they are super delicious and juicier than the regular meat. So that's why I prefer working with this to make this recipe. So now after washing, I'm gonna pat it dry with some paper towel. And this is to get all the excess moisture off of it so the seasoning sticks to it and we'll get a better penetration and get all the flavors from the seasoning. So here are some of the fresh ingredients that I'm using in this recipe. I have thyme, rosemary, fennel right from the backyard. Yes, fennel is an awesome, delicious herb to use. And now we're gonna shred it into small pieces and go ahead and mince it. So this, for this recipe here, I'm gonna make a marinade with this aromatics here. So we wanna get it into small pieces. And this is our magical trio here. This is celery, onion, and carrots, along with some garlic and red bell pepper. We're gonna go ahead and chop that up. And we're gonna set it to the side. Don't have to be perfect, just cut it into small pieces. Cut your bell pepper. Remember to remove that white membrane on the pepper that has no value. Just remove it, toss it. And then chop your pepper into small pieces as well. Just like so. And then we're gonna rough cut our red onion. You can use any kind of onion. I'm just using red onion because I love the flavor. I'm gonna grate my three cloves of garlic and add it to the marinade mix. One tablespoon of freshly crushed black pepper. One and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. and some of my homemade all-purpose green seasoning. And this has everything inside. It has hot peppers, basil, thyme, celery, onion, garlics, it has everything. Now we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil and give it a good mix to make this marinade. This is what we're gonna use to base our turkey wings. So they observe all that flavor here. Yes guys, fennel is an awesome ingredient to add to your recipes. Give it a try. Now we're gonna use a nine by nine baking pan or baking tray. You can use anything that you prefer. I'm gonna coat it with some olive oil 
and add my vegetables to it. Just randomly spread it on the bottom. No particular order. Just drop it right in. Imagine the flavors that's gonna come out of this. We're kind of like making our own stock here as it cooks. So now we can go ahead and go ham and stab your meat. Go ahead, Norman Bates style. And we're gonna make those little incisions which will allow the meat to cook and penetrate with all the seasoning. Just lay it on that bed of vegetables. And now I'm gonna go ahead and ladder it with some of my marinade that I made earlier. We're just gonna cover that, get as much coverage as possible. But this is what's gonna flavor our turkey wings and make it delicious. So you wanna give it as much as you can. Flip it over and do the same thing on both sides. This is what we're looking like after it's fully coated with that seasoning. And we're ready to work with this. Now I'm gonna put this in a second tray because I know I'm gonna have some spillage as it's clean and cooked. So I'm gonna cover it with some tin foil. Get ready to put it in our oven. I'm gonna set our oven to 350 degree. Put our turkey wings in and set it for two hours to cook. Yes, we're cooking this at a fairly decent temperature, very slow. So after two hours, we're gonna remove it let it cool take a look at this guys look at the infusion process happening here right in front of your eyes all that steam and all that seasoning is getting right into the meat so at this time it's fully cooked and tender and smelling delicious but we're not done here yet what i'm gonna do here is remove it and set it to the side. You can take all the meat, all the wings out, put it in a plate and let it cool. Guys, so our stock is already made. It's already infused with all the seasoning and a lot of it is being observed by the meat. So what I'm gonna do is let that cool for a few minutes. This is what we're gonna use to make our stock with, what we're gonna make our smothering ingredients with. So now that we cooled off a little bit, I'm gonna add it to a food processor and give it a good pulse, get it nice and pureed. Just like so. Add all your juices. And we're gonna give it a couple of pulse. And that's it, we're ready. That's all to it. Now we're gonna add our meat back into the pan. As you can see here, the meat is just falling off the bones. It's fully cooked, but we're gonna flavor it some more. I'm gonna pour this puree and smother it. This is our stock that we pureed. 
We're not gonna use any powder stuff or any store-bought stock. We're using our own. And we're gonna smother our turkey wings. And get ready to put it back into the oven. Make sure to get every bit of it out and smother the entire meat. Cover it back with your aluminum foil. And we're gonna put it back into the oven, 350 degree for an additional 30 minutes. And this is it guys, we're all done. Take a good look at it. Awesome. Did you believe the flavor? So I know a lot of people don't eat turkey, but try this way. I guarantee you that you're gonna love it. And here's, we're, we're gonna serve it with some uh, Guyana style cook up rice with red beans. Here it is guys. Hot and sizzling and delicious smothered turkey. Give this recipe a try. Let me know if you like it. Awesome, delicious tender falling off the bone super easy to make just required a little time and patience and trust me you will enjoy and come back and thank me for this recipe so once again guys if you find this interesting and you're willing to give it a try give me a thumbs up hit me up with a shout out leave a comment I want to thank you for watching. Hope you had enjoyed this recipe. Have a wonderful week, guys. And come back to Caribbean Ducks for more recipe like this. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so I can make more videos like this.